Okay, so. Metal music and video games. All I need is a nice Russian Imperial Stout, and we hit on my three favorite things. So of course the moment I saw this game, I knew I had to play it. Metal Hellsinger is a rhythm FPS. And I say this in a lot of my videos, but I love how creative game makers get with trying to mix game genres, especially when the genres have minimal overlap. And for years, I kept thinking the rhythm game genre had run its course, just to be surprised by how a new idea keeps it fresh. Mixing it with an FPS, though? That's a gutsy call. Maybe gutsy isn't the word. Sadistic might be more accurate. The skill sets for these genres don't have much overlap, so the precise timing with precise aiming is going to make Hellsinger challenging for most players. And while I give this genre fusion credit for its creativity, I can also see Hellsinger's influence as a direct lineage back to original Doom. Showcasing metal and shooters have always gone hand in hand. So I have to instead ask, how did this game take so long to get made? The idea was right there the entire time. Quick disclaimer, this review is coming from an inner duality of my gamer side and my metal side, which while both are me, are totally different points of view that don't necessarily agree and can actually be contradictive. Metal side of me has a very dismissive attitude towards representation of metal outside of the actual bands and music. And because of that point of view, the story comes across as... kinda cheesy. Girl, damned for eternity, decides she's over it, and it's time to leave hell. But wait, there is a Skull, who doesn't remember who he is, but he knows that she is the chosen one, so he is going to help. But wait, the BBEG that stole her voice and imprisoned her won't let her leave without a fight, and is going to send the entirety of hell to stop her. Insert something about defying the odds here, and overcoming adversity there, and you've got the idea. I mock this, yet really, how is it any different than the story of Hades, which I couldn't speak highly enough of? The similarities of Diablo 3, which I also enjoyed, are right there too. So Hellsinger's story might not be the most original, but it is more than passable enough as a tie-in between songs, and when compared to all the other rhythm games I can think of, is a masterpiece. I also didn't care for the narrator's voice. Having a Cassidy from Overwatch clone narrating makes me think country, not metal. I think they were trying to go for more of a biker vibe here, but all I could think was cowboy. And this also felt like a missed opportunity to have someone like Jeff Walker or Corpse Grinder narrating instead. And while Jennifer Hale did a flawless job on The Judge, again, it could have been cool to have someone like Angela Gasau, Gasau, however it's pronounced, or Lauren Hart instead. Okay, enough metal nerding about who they could have got. I have to give props for all the singers they did bring in. Elisa from Arch Enemy, Tatiana from Ginger, Randy from Lamb of God. And much to my surprise, my favorite performance was Serge Tankian. Really though, there wasn't a bad performance from any of the singers brought in. Semi off topic, I do have to say how disappointed I am that it looks like Black Crown Initiate is done, since Andy and Nick both recently left the band. And Mr. Dorton, I hope you don't get burned working with the Faceless, as so many others have. I really like the artwork in the cutscenes. There is a timelessness to the minimal motion, comic book aesthetic. Games that use more comic or cartoon art styles just age much better. But the overall aesthetics was where my gamer versus metalhead point of view was the most contradictory. While my gamer side likes all the dark gritty stylization of hell, my metal side just sees a checklist of pandering to stereotypes of what was, quote, metal. So now that we've talked about everything else, I guess we should probably get to the gameplay. Well, it's ridiculously fun. Playing around the beat for shooting, dashing, and reloading adds a wonderful complexity to an FPS that I didn't know I wanted. It would be a lie to say I didn't find this game pretty damn difficult, even on just a GOAT difficulty, but it largely felt like a fair challenge where I blamed myself for failures. I just found my focus level maxed out from trying to keep up with everything going on and would sometimes catch myself standing still trying to aim and shoot on beat, which I think goes without saying, doesn't work out well in a shooter. The other big focus drain was remembering how each gun operates. Some of the guns fire on each beat, while others fire on every other, and every gun has a different number of shots before reloading. 
which to quick reload needs to be done on beat. Then there is a multiplier meter that increases your damage output, which will drop if you aren't hitting shots or get hit by an attack, while consecutive hit streaks will fill the meter up faster. All of this leads to quite a balancing act that I found quite satisfying once I started getting more familiar with it. And if the levels aren't enough for you, after completing one, torments will be unlocked, which are challenges with specific requirements to complete. For example, one torment may require you to get X amount of kills using an ultimate, or another while getting X amount of kills while, okay, they're basically all get kills in a different specific way. And while I was able to complete a few of these on the first or second attempt, some of these torments were pretty tough, taking over a dozen attempts to complete. Each completed torment would unlock a new equipable buff for you to use for following levels. So while each level only took about 15 minutes or so to complete, Metal Hell Singer took about 9 hours of playtime for me to beat. And the game does feel short, but since the ending hints at more to come, I look forward to DLCs or sequels to this game. And there are so many other singers I'd still like to hear. Metal Hellsinger is a great introduction to the newer rhythm shooter genre, and I definitely recommend it as I enjoyed it immensely. And from a more meta sense, I can only hope that games like this will introduce more people to metal music, as Guitar Hero did years ago. I'm so sorry for this, but I have to. Thanks for coming out to keep me to sit alive!